October 12th, it was 40 years ago, that a family in Manor Township felt like there was a storm cloud over their farm. A 20-year-old in their family climbed a tree to trim on the farm, and he fell 12 feet. When he fell, he broke his neck and became a C56 quadriplegic. His life changed instantly. I got to meet that quad, that 20-year-old, seven years later, when I interviewed him for a paper I was writing. I didn't quite get enough information, so I married him two years later. <laughs> when I started to get to know Jess, my wonderful husband, Jesse Charles, I realized he did not let that moment on that farm in that stone storm cloud stop him. He moved forward in life. Nine months after his accident, he became a full-time student at Millersville. A year later, he transferred to Messiah College and became the first person with a significant disability to live in the dorm at Messiah College. After graduation, he worked full-time, and then he met me. When he met me, I was living in North Jersey outside of New York City. And he would drive to see me. Yes, drive. He drove a van from his motorized wheelchair. You put forward for gas, back for brakes, side to side for steering. And he went everywhere in that van. And we managed to maneuver New York City in a motorized wheelchair. We saw La Miserable and Phantom of the Opera, and we went to concerts. We lived a full life. And then I moved to Lancaster County. And we built an incredible home on his family farm that was designed for him. It was our sanctuary. He lived an incredible life. We were inc amazingly surprised when I gave birth to our miracle child, who looked just like his dad. And then he became an amazing father, an amazing husband. He became adventuresome. He decided he would tandem skydive. He did. We actually duct taped him into a parasail, and he buzzed his family farm and freaked out his 80-year-old mother. <laughs> he began hunting. Friends designed gun mounts for his wheelchair where he could put a gun in, and they made a huge thing that looked like a huge, huge clothespin that he would put in his mouth. He would bite down. It would trigger and fire the gun. It was amazing. He lived an incredible life. But you know what? Our life was harder. It was harder, but it wasn't worse. Our life was harder, but not worse. We had to think through everything. Would the home be accessible that we were visiting? He needed help with his personal care. Would there be people there to support us when we traveled? So our lives were harder, but they were not worse. You know, I don't really believe that was a storm cloud over that form 40 years ago. Our storm cloud came in 2022 when my dear Jess was diagnosed with a very um, unusual cancer and passed away six weeks later. But you know what? It wasn't the end of his story. His story lives on. His legacy lives on. He never gave up. He did not let his quadriplegia stop him. In 32 years of knowing him, I honestly never heard him complain. He lived life with a purpose. And you know, not all storm clouds are bad. If that storm cloud hadn't happened 40 years ago, I would never have met my best friend, my rock, my soulmate. Rest in peace, my sweet one.